how to deal with annoying junior engineers. Hey guys, I've been mentoring this one junior engineer for the past seven months. At first, I was okay with him asking questions as I wanted to make sure that he learns well and understands stuff thoroughly, so I did not mind whenever he would ask questions or bring problems to me when he was stuck. I would explain and help him thoroughly. But now I'm observing that there's very little to no progress. He keeps bringing me the same questions that I explained earlier to him, asking me for solutions for the same problems multiple times. And these solutions are not like very difficult ones. The ones that, I, that could be solved by a simple Google search or just by reading the error message. And in some problems, I've had to handhold him until he reaches the solution. I've discussed with him multiple times that he needs to learn how to solve these problems himself now, as these are quite basic problems for his level. He agrees to do so, but then a few days later, same similar questions are asked again. A few days goes, I practically solved his ticket. I do not know how to proceed forward as it is now causing problems in my work. I am very much distracted and unable to focus and do my work correctly. It's to the point now where I want to resign from the company just so I don't have to deal with him. Should I ignore him completely and let him struggle? What is the best way to move forward? So I'd say that you are a little bit of an enabler here. Uh, it's been seven months. And over the last seven months, what you've done is you've set a precedent that whenever he comes to you with a question, you will help him thoroughly with that question. No que uh, you help him walk him through it and solve it. And that is how he solves his problems now. This and junior engineer is a problem solver. Theoretically, and the way that they solve their problems is they come to you. That is how they're solving the problems. And you need to get them beyond that to thinking a little bit harder. And, and this happened to me whenever I was a first an intern. I, I worked for an engineer and I asked him a lot of questions. And once I started asking him the same questions over and over again, he responded to me a little bit differently. He asked me questions like, did you take the time to think that through? What steps have you tried? Hey, I, I, I kind of helped you through that same problem last time. Did you take notes? You see, instead of ignoring him and instead of helping him all the way thoroughly through there, you are a helpful person. I, I can tell you're a helpful person because you've been helping this person out. And the best way for you to help this person out is by helping them learn how to help themselves, which is basic, you know, teach a man a fish, give a man a fish. But that's what you need to do. So what the first thing I'd encourage you to do is encourage this person to get a notebook or some kind of way of taking notes. And whenever you saw, help them solve something, say, all right, do you know how we did this? Please take notes on how we did this. If you ask the same question again, I'm going to ask you to refer back to your notes and try again. And then maybe you can still help them through, but refer them to their notes. Hey, we already solved this one. I think you got to just check your notes. If it's something that can be solved with a Google search, instead of telling them the answer, say, hey, have you looked it up on Google? Have you read the error message? What, is the, what does the error message say? And if they say, no, I haven't looked up on Google, or no, I haven't read the error message, which are basic fundamental parts of their job as an engineer that they need to know how to do, I mean, then you say, you need to Google that. And if they resist, you need to Google it. And then you go back to doing what you're doing. And, and and what you can do is what you're going to notice is that the questions are going to come less and less and less and less often. And and this is just a simple boundaries thing for you, right? You have your own responsibilities. They have their own responsibilities. They need to learn how to do their job. So you asking those types of questions will help them be better at doing their job and help you create the boundary. It has been seven months, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to do that. But it's possible still. And, and you need to stop hand-holding them. Instead of hand-holding them all the way to the solution, what I'd recommend you asking is saying, well, what are you getting tricked up on? What have you tried and where are you getting hold up on? And if they show you, if they are unwilling to show you what they've tried to get to that point, say, come back later whenever you've tried. Come back later whenever you've Google searched it. And, t and, and, you, and you're not able, come back later whenever you read the error message. And they might keep on coming back, then you'll say, well, I, I, all right, let's Google it together. All right, it's right there. So did you actually Google it? 
did you actually did you actually try what, what did you actually try and if they can't explain to you what they've tried and wh where they're getting stuck then they don't get help from you otherwise they need to be going on a performance improvement plan it's seven months you have enabled this person for seven months unfortunately you have enabled enabled this person for seven months and i'm really grateful that i didn't have somebody enabling me that way whenever i first worked as an intern but you have enabled them and 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 now as their senior that's helping out this junior you can help them make the shift you can help them make make the corrections and learn how to do engineering because that's that's their job right it's that it, it, that's their job is to be an engineer so they're, they're there to solve problems so they need to try to solve problems so so yeah a little bit of course correcting for yourself on how you deal with this person i think will go a long way for you and if they're still not progressing after that point then that'll turn into a conversation between them probably and whoever their manager is and if that manager is you then then they might go on a pip i mean it it but, but you gotta you gotta stop enabling this person that's what that's what i'd say you need to let them struggle a little bit more before you help them but don't don't be a jerk about it right and if you do help them just don't solve it all the way through so yeah anyways um yeah whenever i was a new engineer if i went to somebody with a problem that they've already helped me solve before i knew that that they weren't going to give me as much help and they're going to let me kind of struggle through a little bit more and and then you need to let the let you need to understand that that's just expected that's part of growth and you need to let them do it all right well I, I wish you the best and i think that this is a great growth opportunity not only for this person but also for you so i i look forward to it on arrangements they heard the kid in 50 countries thank god that's amazing but i'd rather think spotify they put me on the station